Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA Hi, this is Cooking APA. Today I'm going to uh, make a dish where my late mom used to cook. And this is my first time using it, this particular ingredient, which is the cane button mushroom. So this is one cane of but, uh, button mushroom. I cut it into half. And I have some chicken here, so I'm just going to cook a chicken stew, stew with um, button mushroom. Very simple. Few pieces of old ginger and also some minced garlic. I forgot to mention, I have one chicken thigh here. This is probably about 450 gram. You can use any chicken parts that you like, okay? Okay, so prepare our wok and we are going to Saute the ginger and garlic first, a bit of oil. Ginger and garlic, saute for a while. Okay. Papa is trying to use a brand new set of the, uh, video equipment now on so I'm still trying to figure out the best setting for you all, yeah? so that I can give you the best um, result then you can actually marinate the chicken with some um, light soya sauce if you like You want to get a little bit of char on the surface of the chicken that will further enhance the flavor. We'll come back shortly, about a minute. Okay. We have got a little bit of char already. This is enhanced flavor. Now we can actually add in one bowl of chicken stock. I'm going to add in some saucing wine. For those who don't take alcohol, just forget about saucing wine, don't worry. And I'm going to season it with some oyster sauce, light soy sauce, and probably a bit of dark soy sauce. About one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Uh, about two tablespoon of uh, light soya sauce a bit of my premium Vietnamese free sauce actually the sauce is probably a little bit too much but it's okay I will let it reduce by itself and a little bit of dark soya sauce this is more for the color okay You can reduce the, um, the the broth a little bit, yeah? This is a little bit too much actually. I won't add the butter mushroom too early. Um, I will let this tune down to medium, medium temperature and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Then I will add in the mushroom and let it cook for a few more minutes. Then it is done. Oh, actually we can also add in some salt and sugar at this moment okay a bit of salt a bit of sugar let it continue simmering okay this is after about first 10 minutes simmering under medium heat or medium low adjust yourself yeah uh, Okay. Yes, reduce a bit. I have also taken out some uh, to make a bit of uh, cornstarch. Yeah. So you can always use the broth to 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 uh, make corn uh, starch solution. And now I'm going to add in the button mushroom. Mm. 
now you will be you will have some added flavor. Nice. Right. I'm going to close the lid again to let it continue cooking for approximately three to five minutes. We'll come back shortly. Okay, now total cooking time for the chicken is approximately 15 minutes. Uh, for the button mushroom is somewhere around 5 minutes so everything should be fully cooked by now and the broth has actually further reduced by itself but as I said earlier on I put too much water <laughs> so today I'm going to put in some starch solution first off the fire and I'm going to put in some starch solution my star solution is brownish in color because I actually use the broth to make the star solution, alright? So that you don't really dilute the flavor. Okay. And right before serving, ah, now everything is thickened up. Right before serving, I'm going to give it some few dashes of white pepper and a bit of garlic oil. Ta-da! Or you can use sesame oil, yeah? Whichever you have. Right! Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is going to taste really good. Of course, you can Taste it. If it's not salty enough, you can use some salt and uh, sugar to adjust. Okay, here's my very simple chicken stew with button mushroom. I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video out on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.